Hey everybody, it's Bunny and I really appreciate it. As I just keep filming in this space, keep opening boxes, you can just slowly see the trash horde creep up behind me and glorious. Also, Wreck-It Wednesdays is coming back. This is your official warning, so if you wanna follow along, go ahead and order the book now. I think it's like $9 or something from Amazon or Barnes & Noble. This time, we're gonna be doing the In Color edition. There's colors and I'm ready. Okay, that still looks black and white. Also, you guys may have read the title of this video. Today is the revival of the Pinsir Test Challenge. Although I don't so much know if we are actually going to be finding prompts or things to check out on Pinterest, because Pinterest and Tumblr are kind of like friends, and they're both dead. There's not much going on. It's kind of a crusty website, but I did see, I think it was a repost on Huda Beauty the other day, and it was a hack, and it looked ridiculous, and so I wanted to try it. This girl, oh my god, distraction. Look at this freaking device, okay? Just look at that. This is what I spend the hours of my life looking at. It's this thing, you hold it over your mouth, and you sing. Just watch this. Yes. It like mutes your singing. But it's like a... Today, we're gonna try to scrape our nose pores with a bobby pin. Also, I'm dying to try out this thing. Have you guys seen this? I want to test this out so bad. It's a cut crease eye stamp, but it's only available for sale in Brazil. You can't order it in the States, so I'm slowly waiting for it to come here. Uh, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, because I see things like this, okay, at four in the morning, and I am startled. And I also want to do it myself. So this one we're going to be testing today. Yes, okay, she has a nose. She wipes it with a cloth. I take it that this water is warm. You hold it on for five minutes. Yes, okay, you still have a nose. Then you take a bobby pin, and you just crudely scrape at your skin and it's supposed to remove, I guess, blackheads, whiteheads, help with congested pores. Whoa, I look really orange back here. It's like suddenly I became a carrot. Ugh. All right, let's get down to business. Since I'm not a complete heathen, I figured I would take a little alcohol prep pad and at least like sanitize this tool. As you guys can probably see, I've got some problems. My face has erupted in zits kind of the past couple of days. Uh, maybe erupted is a little bit dramatic, but this one you guys really hurt the other day. And then he invited his brother Fred to come visit on my face. Then I had a whole crop of them on my forehead. It's like they got together and had a Thanksgiving feast, you know, invited the whole family. And I don't know honestly if it's because a couple of weeks ago I watched Jenna's video about shaving her face and I finally shaved my face for the first time. Does that sound alarming? Because it kind of is and I'm wondering if like I shaved in the wrong direction or something and then like just clogged all the pores and then the zits came out to play. Let me go get that warm washcloth and we can get started. Sippy sippy. Cheers to you Swamp Fam. Are you having a pleasant, what is today, Thursday? I just feel like I've been unconscious for most of January. Anybody else out there feeling like that? I'm just kind of like sleeping until daylight savings time comes back, which might be like mid-May. So I just might be kind of unconscious until then. Is that okay? Got this on my nose. Just about as hot as I can stand it. What can we talk about for five minutes? I feel like I'm looking kind of rough lately and um, I haven't told you guys really yet. Dogman and I, we have a new puppy in our lives and I keep meaning to film a video with him. Does my voice just sound really annoying and nasally right now? I kind of feel like it does. Yes, we have a new puppy in our lives and I'm sure you guys are gonna see him in a video. I really have to make an introduction video. I actually got him for my dad for Christmas, but we are like definitely also big caretakers in this puppy's life. And so I, I feel like he's he's also kind of mine, uh, but Dogman and I have definitely been taking care of him quite a bit during his puppy stage. And puppies sure are cute, but they are a lot of work. They just bark a lot. Or maybe it's just this puppy. It's a Pomeranian and it just loves to bork. Borking in the evening, borking in the morning, borking at supper time when 
You're a little puppy. You're just borking all the time. I don't feel like this is warm anymore. I love this little cloth. This isn't even really a washcloth. It's a, um, what is this called? Makeup eraser. I did a does this thing really work on this thing a long time ago? I'm trying to decide what this week's does this thing really work should be. I feel like I have to go heat this up again because now I'm just holding a damp cloth to my nose. So I'm actually going to come back. It's been two minutes. So I'm going to go set a little timer and do this for three more minutes because I feel like it's not going to work unless my skin is really nice and moist and warm. I feel like the pores of my snoot are very open right now um and i'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to tell i never really know what's going on down here but i feel like my makeup never wants to lay right down here is anything gonna happen do i have anything um and then just scrape am i doing this wrong i really didn't expect a complete and utter fail with this oh my god this is terrifying now i just have a freaking bump on my nose from where i freaking scraped with a doobly doobler oh i feel like you definitely are supposed to hold the skin taut and scrape isn't taut just one of those gross words to me it's like moist just creates a really visceral reaction dude that girl had so much stuff popping up out her skin nothing is happening and i feel like i'm already like scraping so hard ow oh right on the bone okay what's what's the deal here here i am bringing back pinterest failing violently <laughs> in the very first one that i do okay stuff's going on in here i know it I know it. Why is nothing happening? Why? Oh, I feel like it's just invoking the rage of my sinuses as well. Just like pushing. Doesn't feel good. I don't want to accuse anybody of having fake sebum on their noses. But you guys, this is not doing anything. Ow, and I got a zit under here too. Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see what I see? It's like I just keep poking a zit. Pretty sure that that's step one they tell you not to do in dermatology. In dermatology. <laughs> when pizza's on bagel, you can eat pizza anytime. Ugh. Did I get one critter? Can we get a critter count? Do you guys see one? One little creature up in there. Let's just keep scraping until something happens. This hurts so bad. Don't do this. Just anything you see on the internet, just don't do it. Ow. 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 I think I'm just... Ru Ooh! <laughs> Has the critter count increased? I don't know. I also feel like my nose may never be the same after this. Like, I literally don't know if I'm just kind of, like, lightly scraping my skin off. Or if I'm actually scraping things out of my skin that need to go. All right, let's zero in up on my nose. I feel like I don't look better after doing this. Do you guys see this stuff? Like, I really can't tell if I'm scraping my skin off. See, that looks like skin. I'm not sure that that's like stuff out of my pores. I always have these ones down here, man, and these hurts. I think I'm gonna stop and just do a freaking pore strip. Oh, I just knocked it all off. All right, this is disgusting. But I'm gonna show you so that you can see what I just did. Um, this debris that just came off on my finger, you guys see that debris there? That's pretty much all that got scraped out. There's like maybe one or two things. It's so tiny, I don't really feel like it's gonna focus. I'm just gonna rub it off with my finger because that's just the most disgusting thing I can do right now. There was like a couple little flecks of nose juice it was like not at all gratifying like she showed i'm really i'm really disappointed in my nose and my pores right now um what if i just use it like this like a freaking cheese slicer at least i still have my little sammy wipe i'm gonna go wash my hands and then we'll be back for the not so exciting conclusion i just had to go put on a nose strip now just so i can have some extraction satisf satisfaction i really almost said satisfaction satisf 
Now I can't even say what I was gonna say. Satisfaction, I think is what I was trying to say. <laughs> I kind of know that there is a little bit of controversy about these blackhead strips because you can damage your skin if you rip them off too fast, like a band-aid or like some silly thing that you shouldn't do, then these are actually harmful. But overall, I feel like these have just served me really well over the years. I kind of don't recommend this hack. Maybe I just have smaller pores than I thought I did. Maybe I have less blackheads or whiteheads than I thought I did. I kind of don't know why this didn't work for me. What accent is that? I definitely unfortunately did not get results like they showed on Instagram. Pretty simplistic instructions, you know, put, put a wet cloth on your nose for five minutes and then scrape it with a bobby pin. So I don't really see how I could have like not followed the instructions correctly or anything like that. I think it's just one of those things. It works for some people. It doesn't work for other people. And that's okay. Kumbaya. Let me know down below what kinds of Pinter tests you guys would like for me to get back into. Honestly, this was a series that I never really thought I would pick back up, but then I realized that I missed it and a lot of you guys were still requesting it. I think maybe we'll do some cute food ones in February for Valentine's Day. I think we used to also do like clothing related, like fashion ones. So that might be fun to get back into as well. I feel like I'm always seeing these kind of like beauty hack ones. And those are honestly the ones that call to me because it just, it is so alluring to think like, oh, I can solve my skincare problems in just five minutes or less. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like that stuff is too good to be true. I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes and then we will peel this off my face and just see what kind of luck we have with this thing. My nose honestly feels so sore right now from just like pushing and scraping on it. I'm back. Did you miss me while I was gone for 12 minutes? But in reality, in your reality, it seems like I haven't been gone at all. But this thing is crunchy, it's dry, it's itching my flesh, and I'm ready to rip it off like a band-aid. No, wait, resist. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, I kind of do just want to rip it off just so I can show you guys what not to do. <laughs> it's late and I'm heavily caffeinated. Are these things supposed to itch? Because mine is really itching. It's really itching. It's itch. Ooh. Look at that. Do you hear what I hear? It's like not time to sing Christmas songs anymore. I only sing Christmas songs in January when everybody is sick of that stuff and nobody wants to hear it anymore. Although I do know that there are some people that listen to Christmas carols year round. How do you do it? My body is ready. This is so itchy. Somebody take it off. It's on my nose and I really don't like it. I kind of forgot how annoying these things are. It's been a hot minute since I've done one, but I'm ready to show you guys the stuff that comes out of my nose skin. It's gonna be so exciting to share. Ah, oh, the, the pain is intense. Dude, is this an extra good one? Ow, oh, or is there stuff in my nose? Or is my nose just sensitive because I just scraped it for 20 minutes with a dull freaking bobby pin? Oh, ow, for science, for science. For YouTube. It kind of makes my eyes want to water. I don't want to continue, but also every time I look down, I can feel myself blinking. It's like this paper is kind of making brief contact with my eyelashes, and I'm not about that life. Oh, oh this is getting more painful by the minute. I don't really like it. Ow. Oh, oh. Oh, jeez. Jeez, a loo. Okay. Oh, George Washington. That hurt really bad. I'm trying to see if there's even anything on here. Did anything happen today? Or have I just been sitting here for an hour and a half and nothing is happening? I really expected more. I'm sharing my stuff with you. Look at the stuff that came out of my nose. Can you see any of it? I always kind of look at these things, like when I see stuff that's come out of my nose, I kind of think that it's like a little city, you know, like the Emerald City in the Wizard of Oz. It's like little magical towers that came out of my nose. You never know, okay? There could be a whole society down here. I mean, that kind of honestly makes me sad to think of because now I just destroyed their society. You guys see some stuff? I feel like it's time for me to get another camera yet again. 
Do you guys agree? All right, well, let's just throw our worries to the wind. That has been today's episode of a Pintertest challenge slash insta challenge. Feel free to tag me in posts on Instagram that you would like for me to test out. Once again, they can be anything. We can try fashion things, we can try more beauty things, we can try random things, and I just might log back in on Pinterest. It's probably been like many years since I've been there, but we're going back. Back in time. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, which obviously you should like to be, we have fun here. It's, it's a party. It's a fun party and you're invited. All you have to do is hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyard girl. Surprisingly, the same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much and I should see you tomorrow for hopefully a first impression Friday. Let's round this month out with some actual content for once. Wouldn't that be great? But anyway, uh, I hope to see you guys tomorrow. I love y'all so, so much and I will see y'all then. <laughs> Bye!